June is Alzheimer's and Brain Awareness Month, and across Florida, people are coming together to bring awareness and honor a person they love suffering from the disease. Florida 24 Network's photojournalist Matthew Apthorpe takes us to Pinellas County, where businesses are going purple for a very good cause. Who's ready to go on a bike tour? Yeah! Okay. Today we're painting Dunedin purple. Yay! Purple is the Alzheimer's color, so everything we do is, is based around the color purple. Hey, Dunedin purple! I lost my mother from Alzheimer's about four years ago. Wanted to find a way to honor her. Did an event one year, just one place. Now instead of one place doing one event, I've got 60 businesses this year doing 60 different things. Oh, this is so exciting! He's buying $20 worth of tickets. Yeah. My mum was diagnosed with dementia. It's obviously really close to my heart to be able to try and bring awareness. We're going to do it with fun. We're going to wear our tutus. We're going to make it as special as we possibly can, but still educating and raising money for this incredible cause. I want to see a sea of purple. It happens to be one of my favorite colors. <laughs> this is blueberry goes in my way. It's close to purple. It's a shade of purple. <laughs> my grandma had Alzheimer's. Diagnosed in her 60s, and she passed away um, in her mid 80s. We're uh, participating in painting the town purple, and that's why my hair is purple. Uh, yeah, I get that. Isn't that good? Good stuff? Yeah. Wonderful. My mom died. She had the onset of Alzheimer's, so the start of dementia. I'll give you ten back. Unfortunately, just about everybody is impacted by this. I've seen my mom go from a bubbly, happy-go-lucky woman. She now no longer remembers me. Maybe I was lucky because my mom uh, passed away from other complications before that day came when, you know, we walked in the hospital and she said, who are you? That would have killed me. That's, that's the tough part. It was really hard for my grandpa to see his wife turn into really someone he didn't know. It was just really heartbreaking. My mother and my father, my mother had Alzheimer's, my father had vascular dementia, my grandfather had Alzheimer's, and his mother, my great-grandmother, had Alzheimer's. Um, when I was diagnosed, they diagnosed me with, with Alzheimer's disease. I can't really speak. I can't really do too much on my own. Some days it lasts for the whole day. Some days it's half. Some days it's, it has a mind of its own, basically. If, um, you know, if we can get a cure for this and it prevents other people from doing that, that's awesome. To really know how important it is that we need to support this organization. I want people to realize what a devastating illness this is. That's what this is about in, great, in a great sense, is people being willing to talk about this. My father. My mother, Rita. My mother, Sylvia. My grandfather. My grandma, Judith. Verna. My mother. My mother, Judith Ann. I'm living with Alzheimer's as well as vascular dementia. Every time I, I look around and I see the purple, you know, it just makes me happy. According to the Alzheimer's Association, more than 6 million Americans are living with Alzheimer's. In Florida, 580,000 people have the disease and more than half a million family members and friends provide them with daily care.